Hey, evening, everybody. This is going to be a Philadelphia Flyers Game 1-5, the four shootout loss recap. As our Flyers had some good and some bad in this game, as you would expect in the first game of a season. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget at the end of the video if you enjoyed the content. So as I said, one of the bad things I would say that they were unable to do in this game, you look at Pedersen's numbers. He had six, um, He had six shots on goal of course, and was able to get a goal and an assist in this game. Carter Hart made some big saves on Elias Pettersson. They were not really able to limit him that well. And, of course, there's the great Yarif Wallach was able to tweet out while covering the game. Very good tonight of Flyers Nitty Gritty. We were not able to be good on the PK either and, frankly, took stupid penalties in that second period. That second period is something this team needs to get a learning experience from and realize and grow from, which they showed in the third, obviously, battling back and getting the goals on the power play, which, by the way, did look good tonight. Yes, only got the goal by TK, but did actually look good tonight overall, I thought, or Philadelphia Flyers power play because they generated chances. On all three, they just were able to get the goal on one. And then on the other, of course, the wired shot by Fairby that we were able to get the nice bounce on. That was one right after the um, power play expired. So they looked good on the power play tonight. They did not look good on the flip side on the PK. So that's something you're going to want to learn and grow from. Carter Hart is going to want to learn and grow from this game, which he did in the process of the game. At the start, the first about 28 minutes of this game, we were flying, we were shooting more. Cam Atkinson was buzzing. Derek Broussard was buzzing. Everybody knew was looking good, and they still did by the end of the game. Yondel was able to get his 500th assist, so congratulations to Keith Yondel being able to get his 500th assist. And then you were able to have Ellis come in and get a point in his first game, as well as Cam Atkinson, who was able to score the goal on the nice pass by Fairby, who had a hell of a night. So you have some good and some bad. The defense needs to be a little bit tighter, as I said. Elias Pedersen was running around us a little bit too much, getting those six shots and having too much opportune chances, if you ask me, for himself there. But when it comes to that, you also were able to not really block out when it came to that Alex Chase on goal. Yes, it was a fortunate bounce, but you want to be able to protect the front of your net more, which we were able to do in periods of the game, but not throughout. So that's something this team will learn and grow from. But overall, I think this is a expected first game, a expected first start. We saw a lot of nice spunk and fun play from the new guys and the new team. I thought that Cam Atkinson was buzzing and playing a good game the entire game. I thought Broussard played a fairly solid game. And then obviously Keith Yonder was able to get the assist to get to his 500th assist. So that's huge for him. So all the new guys did play well. A big bugaboo in this game is obviously Carter Hart would want the last goal back by JT Miller that was able to sneak in. The Flyers could be walking away with a win rather than a loss if that did not happen, but also what Jamie Baskow tweeted out, Jay, or not Jason Atkinson, Cam Atkinson took accountability, and it's nice to see the team already take accountability for saying they got to pick up the guy and do good on the PK there, and that's something they would trash on tonight. That is the um, loser of the game, is the penalty kill, where the MVP of the game would actually probably be all the new guys for actually contributing and playing well, even a guy that didn't get on the stat sheet, Derek Broussard, seemed to look good out there where they were able to fuel the offense well other than Joel Fairby, who had a great game himself, and G able to capitalize at the end. A lot of it was the new guys, how you had Ellis have the assists on Fairby's goal. On the Atkinson goal, you had Keith Yondo have one of the assists with Joel Fairby, who I would say was our MVP of the game. If you're going to give it to not the new guys and an individual player, you'd have to give it to the singular Joel Fairby. And then Keith Yondo was able to pick up his 500th assist on that key goal by Travis Konechny on the power play at the end of the game. And then Ryan Ellis was able to pick up his second assist, so Ellis had two this evening, as well as Sean Couturier on the Giroux goal. So it was a very good night. Couturier had his first assist on the Konechny goal. For Couturier in the assist count, it was a very good night for Fairby getting the goal and the assist. And then Cam Atkinson was buzzing the entire night. TK was chirping. So I think there's a lot of good signs in this game. It's just Carter Hart is going to want to be a little bit better more positionally. The one goal by Pedersen obviously was a bad bounce. But as people said, you want to be guarding the post a little bit more there. Then that still wouldn't bounce off of you to happen. But it's still, I give those just the two fluky goals that happened. He's going to want the one of those fluky goals definitely back. The chase on one was just we allowed him to get in front. You got to box him out a little bit better. And then there was a fortunate bounce. But my final points in this video, my three final points are 
you got to work better on the PK. The PK's got to get churning. The PK's got to look better. And if that happens against the crack in the new expansion team that we play on Monday, I think the Flyers will win that game. I will do, obviously, a preview for that game as it gets close to that game on Sunday night or Monday morning. And then the second thing is keep doing what you're doing offensively for about the first 28 minutes and about the last eight minutes when the Flyers started pushing back and looking good and getting some chances and being able to eventually tie this game up with the Giroux and TK goal. Have that more shooter mentality that we saw in this game, led by Cam Atkinson and led by the new guys, led by Yondo and led by Ellis, just getting it through simply from the point with wrist shots and not slamming it into someone's leg like we used to do in past year. So the team kept it more simple. They had more of a shooter's mentality. They generated more chances. That's all great signs. Now we just need the defense to be a little bit tighter, and we need the PK to be a lot better, and then we would be set. So I think this is an expected first game. You got good and bad, and I think you expect that in game one of the season. You don't expect everything to go great, particularly when you have a very new roster, and then you have to dip into the depth guys in game one because of injuries. So I think all things considered, this was a good game moving forward. Carter Hutt Carter Hart adjusted throughout the game, had a pretty good third period, had a fantastic overtime in order to get the Flyers into the shootout, and then as always, our Flyers are infamous losing in the shootout. We lost in the shootout, but we were able to capture one point. The Flyers showed fight, and I think it was a good game overall for game one to be able to grow on, build on, and learn from the mistakes they made taking bad penalties on the PK and not boxing out enough guys in front of the net, particularly on that Chase Song goal, and even on the Pedersen goal to kind of allow guys to be in front of the net, so it took Carter Hart's focus off of the post, but that ain't any excuse, Hart will tell you that, so I think you need to do a little bit better in those categories, plus the others mentioned in this video, but overall, solid start, build on this game, and then look better against the Seattle Kraken, so subscribe down below if you enjoy the content, or up above on the easy to use widget, let's go Flyers, let's bring that bring it to broad energy against the Seattle Kraken on Monday as we battle back from this game, some good and some bad, as I said, so peace out everybody, stay safe, and go Flyers.